This is lesson 6.10 on adverb phrases on page 150. So for your warm-up, you are just going to simply define what an adverb is. So pause the video and try and come up with it on your own. You are correct if you said it is a word that modifies a verb, adjective, or other adverb. And this funny word modifies, it means like to give more meaning. So how did she dance? She danced happily. How did she cry? She cried sadly. Okay, so it gives more info, paints a bigger picture, it modifies these kinds of words. Turning to the page, we see the definition of adverb phrase. An adverb phrase is a prepositional phrase that gives more detail to verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. So basically like an adverb, it's just a phrase. It's more than one word. It's got a preposition like on, for, in. But then it also has an object of that preposition. So I can give you some examples. They give you some good examples on that page. So if you see it says... The volcano rose rapidly. That's just an adverb. That's just one word. But then it says the volcano rose in a rapid manner. In is a preposition. In a rapid manner. It's more than one word. It has an object. The manner. The rapid manner is the object of in. So therefore, it's an adverb phrase. And adverb phrases describe how, when, where, why, and to what extent. Okay? So here are my examples. I jumped around my room when I heard the good news. Around my room is the prepositional phrase, and it's describing how I jumped. So they often describe verbs. Jumped is a verb. So if you are having trouble finding the adverb phrase in a sentence, maybe your first step is, hey, I'm going to find the verb. Okay? So my second sentence, I rose to my feet when they called my name for the award. Rose is the verb. What's telling me? What, what did I rise to? I rose to my feet. To my feet is a prepositional phrase, but it's also an adverb phrase because it's describing rose. Okay? So please read those examples on page 150. It'll help you paint a better picture in your head. Exercise 1. Try and do these on your own and then check your answers with me. See if you get the concept without me. Don't just write down the answers that I'm writing down, okay? So it says, identify the adverb phrase or phrases in each sentence so there can be more than one. So maybe your first step is to find the verb. Maybe your first step is to find the preposition. Find what works for you and see, d d is this working as an adverb? Is this adding more information to a verb, adjective, or other adverb? So number one, it says, for several weeks, people heard rumbling sounds. So heard is the verb. And what they heard was rumbling sounds. But there's no preposition in that phrase. So it has to be for several weeks. Because that describes when they heard those sounds. So the answer is for several weeks. Number two, the sounds rolled like thunder. This is a tough one because this preposition isn't super common. So rolled is the verb. What did it roll like? It rolled like thunder. So that's adding more information to the verb rolled. Number three, however, the rumbling sounds were coming from the ground. So coming is the verb, were coming. And what's adding more information to were coming? From the ground. From is a preposition. That makes it an adverb phrase. Number four, there's two in this one. On February 20th, 1943, Oh, I cannot even read that. Dionisio Pulido, a Mexican farmer, was working in his fields. So when was he working there? On February 20th. And where was he working? In his fields. So both of these phrases add more information to was working. When was he working? Where was he working? Okay, and they both have prepositions. So they're adding more info, they're modifying the verb. And number five, suddenly the trees trembled and the ground shook for no apparent reason. For no apparent reason. That describes why the ground shook. It shook for no apparent reason. And for is a preposition. Please email me if you have any questions. Your exit ticket is exercise three on Google Classroom. Nope, not exercise three. I'm sorry, exercise two on Google Classroom.